Carlos. Hey, hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. How are you? I see you walking with a limp. What's going yeah, on? Kind of, huh? Yeah, I have um, I've been having some pain in the front of my head. Oh, really? Well, here, come sit down. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Sure. So I see you're wearing some new running gear. What's yeah. going on? What's um, new in your life? I signed up for an ultra marathon, so I've oh. been running a lot more than usual. So you've increased your mileage. Right. Yeah. Um, By a lot. Yeah, it definitely went up a lot. About maybe threefold more okay. than usual. All right, and when did this pain start? Um, probably about when right I started. Right around that time. Yeah. So that's probably the reason that you're having this pain. How about your shoes? Are they relatively new? Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, they got maybe 50 miles on them, but it's really not much. Okay. And that was professionally fitted as usual, so. Okay. And your pain, is it relieved with rest? Uh, yeah. I notice it, it's not so bad when I'm laying down and stuff, but... The more I walk, the definitely. When you're up and moving around, it exactly. starts to hurt. Yeah. All right. Can you lay down on the table for me? Sure. I'm just gonna feel around. You let me know if it hurts. Okay. Okay. Does it hurt up this side at all? No. How about on this side? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right there. Uh -huh. Okay. And I notice you have some swelling too. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that. All right. I'm gonna move your leg. You let me know if you have any pain. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Same feeling. area. Okay. All right, can you turn and face towards the wall? Sure. Lie on your side. I'm going to do the same thing. Any pain? Yeah, I feel it. Okay. How about you sit at the edge of this seat for me? I'm going to perform a fulcrum test. Okay. Because I think you have a stretch factor, so this would let me know. Okay. All right? Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's painful. All right, I'm going to do it on this side real quick. Okay. No? no. Okay? No. Nope. All right. Stand up. We're going to do a hop test. All right, on your left, your good leg, hop up and down for me. Okay. Any pain? No, this is fine. No? How about your right leg? Uh, I'm a little apprehensive. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. it hurts. Okay. So, Carlos, what I think is going on is you have a femoral stress fracture. Okay. All right? So, these can be either serious or treated conservatively. Okay. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call your physician. We're going to get you some diagnostic tests. This can be an x-ray or an MRI. X-rays. And once they come back, you'll come here and we'll talk about what we're going to do after. Okay. Okay? Yeah, that works. All right. So oh. I'll see you in a few days. Thanks again. All right. Hey, Carlos. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Um, Got the results? Yeah, the doctor told me to give these to you. All right. So you can come sit down. Okay. So I did talk to your physician. Oh, you spoke to him? Yeah. Okay. And the x-ray showed that you do have that compression-sided stretch fracture. Okay. So that pretty much means that right here is fractured. Oh, it's on my leg. Yeah, it's on your it's Oh, I on thought it leg. was on my head. Yeah, well, it causes pain in that area. Okay. But this is good, because we could treat that in this clinic. All right? Okay. So I need you to sit down and listen to me carefully. All right. You have to stop running. I know that's very sad, and it's going to be hard. But in order to get you back, in order... For you to run this ultra marathon, you need to stop running. You're talking about like a few days or? No, it's going to be around 8 to 18 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how you progress. I mean, normally a fracture can take up to 8 weeks to heal completely and then we'll progress you slowly back to running. That's a long time. It is a long time, but in order for you to have that healthy bone, you need to take time off. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do, just for the first few days to a week, you're going to use crutches All right. to walk around to allow that fracture to begin to heal. Oh, man. Okay, these uh, are already sized this. appropriately. Oh, yeah, they well. Okay, and then when you come back, we're going to start seeing how you're doing with your pain. And okay. we'll do a few exercises. Uh, am I using the crutches all eight weeks? Or? No, just for the first week. The first and then week? We'll, we'll slowly work you off of the crutches. Because it is important that you do put some weight through that leg. Okay? okay. All right, so can you lie down on the table? I'm just going to run through a few exercises All with right. you. First, we're going to do the quad set. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I want you to do is just tighten this leg for me. Okay. All right, All you're right. going to hold it for 10 seconds and do it 10 times. Okay. Okay, so that's sure. called the quad set. Next, right. straight leg raise. Okay. So I just want you to lift this leg into the air, ah. keeping your knee straight. Okay. And then lower it back down. All right. Okay? Yeah. We're going to do that like 10 times. Hey, Carlos, okay. that's all the exercises we're going to do today. Okay. Next time you come in, we'll teach you a few more. All okay. right? Great. Okay? Thanks. Yep.